made it. You made it. Let me scoot this a little back. Oh, right. you know, of course I made hey, it. Let me turn you up. That's a live experience. I don't even trip. People coming in in the house. What's good? What's good? It's your girl, Kamani Cali, baby, from West LA. You feel me? Dang, I didn't even have to ask you. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. No, That's but right. when I was, look, what, what, how was your day? My day was beautiful and blessed, actually. It's really nice out here. Is it, is it nice in LA? Uh, it was foggy as ever last night. It's kind of like, nah, it's real cold. It's like oh, the sun's out, but it's cold. LA's on some I, I gotta fix my shit, too. Yeah, me probably. Hey, man, nah, it's real nice out here right now in the Bay, but like, Every oh, time I talk day. to somebody from LA, I know every time I talk to someone from LA, though, man, we started to miss it, though. I, I lived out there for like uh, 14 years, maybe. Okay. What area? Yeah. Uh, I started in West, I start, well, I wouldn't call it Santa Monica, LA, but I started in Santa Monica, then I moved into West LA, Culver City, okay. over there off like uh, Venice and Motor, kind of by the studios, you know what I mean? And then uh, Mar Vista, all that shit area. And then I moved into downtown and in, in Boyle Heights. And when I started getting into photo photography, I started like living in in the in the in them streets. Like Damn, yeah, yeah, you, you traveled in LA then. You definitely yeah, MacArthur traveled. Park, Boyle Heights. I even went up to Pasadena. I spent time in the uh, a year in the valley. What well, part of the uh, valley? See, I say uh, the hills. Oh no! So I so before I went to USC, I went to CSUN. So I was over at CSUN. Graduated from CSUN. So, okay. so I, I actually. Rich. Yeah, I went from Santa Monica to Northridge to to USC. So okay, okay. Yeah, well, I'm excited. You're good, you're good. I'm excited for this you're good. show. I know, I know. Well, let's jump into it. Since you, even it, though you, even though you said it, let's do it again. Who are you? Where are you from? And what do you do? Yo, you guys, what's good? It's what's good. It's your girl Kamani Cali, baby, coming from West LA, going crazy. <laughs> I'm not from the hood, but you, you feel me? You feel me? From West LA, I'm from West LA. That's good. <laughs> That's good shit. Who wants to be from the hood? I mean, it's not like you like. I think it's funny when we like we uh, lore, yeah. we, we we like lore like going to like motherfuckers be talking like it's cool to go to prison, like it's cool to be. It's just insane oh, yeah, some of the shit I be seeing. Okay. You know, what I mean, like I grew up in the hood, but like at a certain point, my family made it out the hood, and I was so grateful to be out the out that motherfucker, even though I would go back a lot. You know what I mean? So yeah. hell no. Nah. But definitely stay out of there. Keep that yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Hey, what kind? What, what, more or less, though, like what part of West LA? I'm at, right in Midtown, Mid City, so it's over uh, on Pico, West Pico Boulevard. But I yeah. used to have people High Point and Pico. So whoever from LA, you know, you you know, if you know, I'm right okay. over on McDonald's by McDonald's. I know some of the Mid City stoners. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's a little that's a little bit turned up in the hood, though. But yeah, uh, but I love my city. I love my city. Hell yeah. Well, it's a historic area. That whole area is very historic. You know what I mean? It's a dope oh, little no, section. For real. Especially the part and area that I'm in. It's definitely historic. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So tell tell me a little bit about, you know, how you jumped off the porch with music. Oh, well, definitely me watching my dad. He managed a lot of artists. One of the artists that actually wrote um, Blame It on Alcohol, Jamie Foxx, by Jamie Foxx. Oh, so sure. I was seeing, yeah, the Wendy, and he actually managed the game when he put out a documentary, his album. So I was a part of that growing up, seeing it. I wanted to be more a part of it. So I would kept, you know, keep being around it. Like, Dad, I don't want to do this. He was like, no, you got to stay in school until you write me that first hit. So through high school, I kept writing, writing, writing. I even showed my sisters, you know, she was like, you know, keep going, this ain't it. So I didn't stop. Never stop, you guys. Always keep going. So I kept going, kept pushing. I showed my dad my first song. He said, honey bunch. You you know you you good you good you can come on a team you can kind of like look you can um, watch from behind take notes and I slowly you know stopped going to school because it started getting real serious to me I started traveling I did my first show in Clark Atlanta University did a tour so it was a lot of big things coming towards me so it was a big journey and that's dope so you grew up in the you kind of grew up in the industry then a little bit for sure huh yeah I got my voice from my grandma. Uh, yeah, yeah, she but, was in, yeah, yeah. Continue, like oh, going. Nah, I just, I, oh no, nah, do your thing, girl. It's all good. That's the whole vibe. But yeah. no, nah, my my uh my grandma was real important in my life too, and uh, so no, nah, I was feeling that. But and I I didn't grow up like in the music industry, but I grew up like 
I grew up like in the movement, you know, like for social justice. My parents are like revolutionaries and shit. So it's just like whenever you grow up and your parents are doing something that's like a little bit different than everybody else, yeah. you know, you always have that. And it's kind of yeah, cool. It's, it's cool, but at the same time, they they be gone a lot sometimes. And it's just be like kind of. And that I don't was know. when my dad, he was on the road a lot. That was one of the, you know, down. But it still had me look up to him. He was a real big role model in my life, a big real inspiration. So at the end, you know, it played this big part, like you said. Yeah, man. Shout out to my boy Stick. So I got, to, I saw you real quick when we were going into the studio. We were leaving to go do a shout out to Rodium Radio with Gold Toes. We were going to an interview, yeah. and I was like, oh, she seems dope, man. It's too bad because I was, I was vibing with everybody. You know what I mean? So I was like, man, I gotta circle back real quick and say what's up with it, though, you know? But here we are. <laughs> I'm supposed to be meeting up with my boy Sticks tonight. We got the studio session. Oh, so really? Big one. Yep, yep. Oh, that's good. That's good. So to right after the interview, I'm about to go yeah. over there, yep. So. And, and how has, how have, like, because a lot of people are over here tripping on fucking, you know, just the COVID thing. I just be like to check in with people, like, how are you doing? Is your family okay? Whatever you like to share, just because, like, what I I was tripping, I'd be tripping on people because everybody's like, maybe just asking people, all right. I don't know. They just, they don't even check in with motherfuckers. They just be tripping on each other. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, I feel you, like, bro, get away from me, all that, instead of like, yo, you know, like, you cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, how, like how, the whole, how's the experience? Because it's like an experience for everybody. Yeah, but um, everything's been cool with my family. They've been safe, thank goodness. Everything's been good with me. I've been trying to move real safe, wear a mask, out at shows. And I've been trying to stay, you know, creative. I know it's been like hectic with all of us, you know, everything. So everybody. Yeah, it's hard, right? Like we, yeah. we, we want to socialize, salute, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Everybody that's been steadily, you know, keeping creative. Oh yeah, we gotta keep moving, right? Hell yeah, you gotta keep going. This shit ain't gonna stop us. As yeah, much nah. as it's a bit, uh, it ain't gonna stop us. No, nah, but it's just crazy. But I'm like good. I'm good with COVID after. And, and how's the family? Family's okay. Everybody's yeah, like, you know, nah. more or less okay. Yeah, family's real good. They still moving the same. Everybody's good. It's just, you know, stupid stuff. Everybody is um, family, some, you know, little coast, east coast, west coast. So it's hard for us to travel each other, you know, visit each other. That's yeah, the, man. My pops, my, my pops lives in Alabama, and he's retired, so he would just come back and kick it a lot, though. You know what I mean? So it felt like he was never even gone, really. So Because he'd come kick it for, like, three weeks, you know what I mean? And then bounce out again. But he hasn't been – I haven't got to see him since – the pandemic because he's, he's in the 70s early 70s and like he's healthy but at the same time you know what i mean motherfuckers ain't trying to take chances so Damn. we've been on facetime you know and my daughter's only met him twice you know what i mean yeah. which kind of sucks but it is what it is we gotta survive this motherfucker. yeah we're living in a new era and i know it's crazy but a lot of these things is repeating with the whole new di you know new disease but it's just crazy what you know what's what is what's happening it's just crazy yeah yeah Shout just, out. The wrap around it just be like, dang, I can't believe it sometimes. It just be crazy. But anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. to the positive. I know, right? That's what I stay. I try to stay I try to stay in the positive. That's what I've been doing. I've been like working out. Cause the thing is, the other thing is nobody's ever talking about like why don't they like why don't we talk about how to keep your 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 body strong, you know what I mean? Take care of yourself, like so that okay. you can fight anything off, you know, or as good as you can, you know what I mean? Like, exactly. so that's what I've been trying to do, trying to focus on my mental health, try to take care of my body, get back in shape. I fell off for a minute. I, <laughs> like, I got like, Look, you know how people fell off? That happens to the best of us. I fell off, dude. That I was out there. Dude. I was long like, oh, as what? you know, long as you know you're getting right back to it. Look, yeah. you check yourself. Let me see. Hey, I was like, what's that? What's Look, that? I kind of lost my stuff. I was kind of working on some, y'all. Yeah, I was working right, on girl. some. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you look, it's not, oh, it's yeah. not bad. You don't get it together. Nah, I'll get it. I'll get it. Nah, but that's no, that's, thing, that's definitely um, the key, right key, like you said, staying healthy. But it's crazy because a lot of these people that have been catching COVID, the case, some of them was that they was healthy. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, I, I, I got, I took the vaccine, but I don't, I don't pressure other people to take it. I can't believe people do your, like, I don't believe in any of that. I think we should just offer whatever the world and you, we all decide. Like, I don't believe they should be doing that whole, like, uh, passport shit or, like, you can't get into a, a bar, but you know, it is what it is, Guess whatever. It down. I mean, I, I just feel like we all should take care. We should do whatever the fuck we want with our bodies and we shouldn't force other people, you know? Yeah, that part. I mean, we was doing it before all this happened when people say you can't make this person change their gender or their sexuality, you know? So why now change the fact that, you know, we are against needles or vaccines or 
you know, all that. So it's just crazy. So how do you really how do you crazy. what do you do in your own life to try to stay kind of like an optimistic, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. mind frame moving forward? I do crazy shit, you guys. I jump off of planes, but but no, I'm playing, but no, I do adventurous type stuff. I stay creative. Um I'm a I'm a wild child, so um I'm all over the place. So I like to have fun. Especially um, staying creating wise. So I like to kind of like get with creative people, kind of photo shoots, just create. So basically I like to do that in my spare time. It gets my mind, you know, I'm not on the negative and the craziness that's happening in this world, believe it or not. But, ha but, but have you ever fell off? Like, I, I feel like there were a couple of times in the pandemic where I feel like I had like two or three weeks of, you could maybe even call it depression. I don't even know. Cause I don't like to like even use terms like that. Like, for me, it's like I'm just moving through life. And now that I, I got a connection with my, my creator, like, I feel like a samurai. Like, I'm real strong. You know what I mean? <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, no, do your thing. Don't even trip. That's what's a live experience. Hey, you guys, share the live and ask questions. Share. Look, look at that? this. Look what at this. We said samurai, baby. Oh, you're look not even this. playing. Look at this, uh, you guys. This is. Oh, what? I got the other one. I'm real careful with it. Do not try this at home. What? Oh, hell no. Nah. Ah! We were just talking you about You heard that. You heard that. I have to bring it out because you said so. That's, uh, that's, that's for you, baby. That's for you. Hey, what's that all about? Tell me, what, how, why you got that? How you get that? From my pops. Like I said, he's my role model. That's where I get all this coolness from. <laughs> Damn. My pops. Yeah, he has a big collection and he has daggers, too. Oh, shit. What? So, so I heard, I heard that shit. Field, yeah, and kind of like to um, some spots. What's the deal? What's the <laughs> deal? That's right, girl. What's the <laughs> deal? Hey, so so do you have siblings? I do. I have two sisters, the older one. I'm the middle child. Uh, I have a little brother, a uh, younger sister, and another little brother. So it's four or five of us. <laughs> oh, me too. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. me. I'm the oldest, and I have two brothers and two sisters. So three boys, two girls, and the girls are twins. So, you know what I mean? Oh, Double trouble. Twins you know what I mean? family. Hell yeah! And what? Um, and what what's your? Uh, what is it? Astrological shit? A horoscope? Um, a Pisces, you guys. A Pisces. That's right. That's right. And then just random shit like what's what? What do you like to do? Do you, do you drink? Do you smoke? I don't know. I do a little, little here and there when I go out. You know. Yeah, a little. But I don't keep like to do that in the studio. I definitely don't like to smoke and drink in the studio. Yeah, I have, well, like, I don't drink, and I don't I don't drink, and I used to do a lot of, like, you know, like, not a lot, but, you know, I little powdered my beak here, you know, L.A., you know, the, the lifestyle. I don't believe in it no more, but I, I, I've been sober, but I smoke now, um, and but I stayed, I, I, I didn't smoke for, like, four years because I wanted to make sure I had time to get to know who the fuck I was, you know what I mean? And I always tell people, like, it's really important, you know, like, whatever you do to always be fucking, you know, have some balance to that shit, and for me, even blazing, like, I can't smoke and, like, go to an important meeting because I'll start to just second-guess myself. And I want to just, if I blaze, I want to be just chilling. You know what I mean? That's, That's my thing. thing. You know what I mean? And drinking for me, I just retired. That's You know what I mean? It's not my shit no more. So, like, I ain't yeah. going to, that's not for me. But I don't. it don't bother me that other people drink. You know what I mean? Nothing like that. It's just for me. I'm half Irish, half Mexican. I had a good run. You feel me? And I'm just going to say, you, you know party. I mean? Say, you no, I went party. hard. And I was living in like, LA in, in a you. glorious time. There was a time in LA, like from 2001 to 2016, like LA was cracking. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so all the well, 2000s, definitely, basically. Definitely so, before the COVID hit. Ooh. Yeah. I was like, I'm kind of happy that I moved back to where I was at. Hey, you can't hear you. Oh, no, no, my bad. My, my stuff just tripped. I said, no, right before the COVID hit, LA was just right. It was yeah, popping. Man. popping. I know. And that's why when I went back a couple times, it just like, I was like, I almost was like, I was almost like, like, fuck, I just want to come back to LA when it's back because it don't feel the same. You know what I mean? But oh, we yeah, partied, man. we partied in the SMC days. What? What they know about SMC? I went to SMC. What's up, SMC for sure? Oh, Santa Monica now. Santa Monica College. Yeah, I always to... wanted to go there, you guys. I, I went to um, I went to Pierce College. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Yeah, I went to Pierce, but I always yeah, wanted I went to, to go to SMC. SMC. 
I went there. I used to live. So at SMC, there was an alley, a gas station. I lived right behind it. And I used to sell weed from and that I got from the Bay Area in 2001, 2002. And so I had, like, the Monday, Wednesday, Friday people, and then, like, the Tuesday and Thursday people. And then if people know SMC and Pasadena City College, those two colleges, they got a lot of international students. You feel me? Mm-hmm. They got fucking people because they, they were trying to get to U, UCLA. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, yeah. So I was hustling out there, just enjoying myself right there by the beach. Right by the beach, the breeze, all that, all that. Yeah. And then it's a vibe because they all different, you know, diverse. So we were in Latino student union together. What the fuck? Oh, she's talking to me. I thought she was talking to you. Hey, yes, What's Hamilton? I went to Hamilton. Uh, oh, you went to what? Did you Ham- no, that's Ham- not... Jesus, it Yeah, it, was that wait, Hamilton's not the one on Robinson, is it? It is. It is. Ah, I right know over it. by National. Yeah. Yeah. You went, but you went you there? Know, you, hey, no, no, no. But oh. you know, I know, I know West LA. If I know where that's oh, at, right? Oh, of course, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Like, who's gonna Who's gonna know where that high school is? I don't know. Let's see in the comments. Any of y'all know where um Hamilton? Y'all know where some? Two thousand three. Yeah, she said I oh, did go to Hammy. Oh, she... wait, she went to your. All right, hey yes, she went to you... I think she. Hey Yessie, do you know her or me? <laughs> I don't even well, know. Well, she went to. Did you graduate in two thousand three? I graduated in two thousand and one, man. I'm an old motherfucker. I, I'm, I'm 11. I'm damn near old, too. I should never have said that online. 11? Not playing. 10 years. 10 years oh, different. Now I'm Damn. Uh, I'm hella old. No, no, no. Five. I'm messing with you. I want to see my <laughs> A little older thing. But no, nah, no. Nah, it's all good. No, no. Nah, nah, I know you, Pocho. <laughs> oh, shit. That's right. Hey, Yessi, DM my ass then, girl. I can't believe it. That's That's 20 years ago. That's long, you know what I mean? Long. Got some ham and cheese people up in here. Let's see what else. What's up, uh, Trini? Much love. I'm gonna definitely keep doing my thing. You uh, yeah. let me know if any of any of y'all are, um from LA or in LA. I got shows coming up this. Um, yeah, tell, tell us a little bit Saturday. what's cracking. I got tell, a show tell. tomorrow and Saturday. What? Break it down a little bit. I got um they both in the Valley one. Um the Friday show is in Parthena, North Hills. And the Saturday show is going to see the, the flyers is in, on my Instagram. So go flyers. ahead on my Instagram, click the link. Every updates in my bio. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's, it's nice that we're getting back to events, huh? Yeah, it's like, that's man. hard. And it's crazy because it, it seems like now it, it, it's it's like time be going by so fast. Cause it's like, it was like that feeling to where it's like, oh my God, events. But now it's like the comfortability comfortability in it now is like we really now have an events and it's now open so it's just the process and steps moving forward is it's even good seeing too but now yeah it's real crazy i'm excited for everything to be open especially on stage i just feel like we kind of lost our innocence like as a like human race almost you know what i mean because think about it since yeah, the last wow we went wow we went well think there. about it since the last pandemic and that was way different because they didn't we didn't have so much information going around or like technology but like we all experienced something together. No, I feel you. I feel you. A lot has took a toll on um, people. But think about it. When, ha- whenever in history that we know, besides the last minute, did a whole human race deal with something at the same time? Usually, it's a disaster over there. Something happening over there. And the Great right now, Depression. Yeah, but that was only in the United States. That wasn't even in yeah. the whole. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying, man. Everybody, motherfuckers in the rainforest are getting COVID. <laughs> yeah, you right. It is it's it's traveling. And then the disease before, like what smallpox, chicken yeah, pox. Yeah, I yeah. mean that that well chicken pox is one of those that kind of travel to a lot of kids in different Oh yeah, you gotta get it at least once. I got yeah, it. Yeah, that kid. that's one of those, but it was it wasn't serious. It just was something that every kid had to go through, apparently. I wonder sure. I mean, did every kid go through chicken pox? I don't know. That's a good question. Hey, if you, if you didn't have chicken pox, let us know. <laughs> you that got part, chicken Did part, you get chicken pox? I, I, yeah, I have. I, have. I got it. I got it yeah, when I was like really. I was like four, real young, three, four yeah, or five or something. Said I caught it from my sister. I remember the story. Damn, I didn't have it for too long, though. She said I kind of like didn't have a bad, you know, so it was cool. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, how do you how do you vibe when you start writing? Do you write it? Do you just punch in? What how, what's your style? How's your how's your flow? Like what do you do? Just anything you want to share about how you get get into your vibe? Of course, I'm already kind of writing the song right now. No way, but no. When I'm like kind of by myself, I write music. Just it depends. I guess it depends on my mood. Uh, mm, 
I want. I guess the mood does play a part, but me writing Thank a song or coming up with a concept of a song and be like, "Ooh, that comes all the time in my head," just because I'm just always kind of like, like always vibing the music. I don't know. That's just always popping up. So I'm constantly always writing down a song or like something to start with or like, "Oh, I gotta write." Whatever the case, my writing process in the studio, I like to freestyle. I like to freestyle in the booth and kind of get my melodies and kind of verse and kind of like fill in the words that's kind of like, you know, empty and all that. Yeah, yeah that's that's pretty, I like doing that. And then, you know, sometimes it's cool to sit and write if you really need to, but yeah, my writing, my writing skills kind of come from just me being in my head a lot in a good way. And you gotta get it out, right? Somehow. Yeah, for real, for real. So Is I'm therapeutic or what? Yes, you said what? Is it therapeutic or what? It is definitely therapeutic, especially because I can be going through the dumbest stuff from someone just just messing up my day on some bull crap of whatever them saying something stupid, and I can just be like want to just want to just clear it out. So sometimes I kind of just you know it depends because I'm always kind of catching melodies. Like let me say like sounds like from a car or from a, like a ringtone i always kind of like want to copy so i'm always so that kind of helps me block out a lot of stuff it's very therapeutic because i would be ending up in jail <laughs> for real right yeah and no it's very th- therapeutic i'm sure I a lot feel of people like everybody that. needs that shit like but of like something though you know and i feel like there's some people that don't got nothing and they just like party and drink and do all that shit but like if they found something that they got you know some passion out of like how I started was it was not I would call you could call it a hobby but I was just doing some shit that I liked and my hobby became my career you know and that's dope you know what I mean I didn't yeah. even plan I didn't even plan on this shit and I've been doing I've been doing professional photography for like damn near, like twelve years now you know what I mean it's just yeah. crazy see that's what's up and I usually what happens I mean if it's a hobby that starts out it starts as a hobby like a Cancun. Before a butterfly, you know, it starts as a hobby. You're going to find out from that hobby if it's something you want to turn into a career, a passion, or just, you know, let it just be a hobby, something fun. Yeah, and and I try to tell people that, man. I try to tell people, like, do it because you love it, you know what I mean? Because if you love it, fuck it, you're going to have to enjoy it, you know? And whatever comes from it, comes from it, you know what I mean? But if you have all these expectations, it's just like with anything. You get in a new relationship. You do this, well, motherfucker. Say that too. And the people that come into the hobbies and the passion that you love, and those are positive people, definitely, you know, you know, look into that. Look at that too. Definitely analyze the people that come within that too, because you gonna have some bad and good. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. That's the thing. You just gotta. I mean, I feel like I'm in a place now where, like, even before the pandemic, I was like, I ain't putting on for nobody no more. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be my full self. You know, my flaws are my flaws out. You know, put it out there on front street because you know what, like whatever is in the dark will come to the light. So let's bring it to the light right away. Just like even with females, you know, like if I like a female, eventually wherever I get that the 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 moment to let them know, basically this is what I'm about. I let them know as soon as possible, you know, so that they can make an educated decision if they want to move forward and keep talking to me in that way, or you know, we just keep pushing, uh, you know, in our lives. And I just feel like it's better to do that so we don't have these. There's all these missed signals and this and that and staying quiet. And, and I would rather just cut through that because I think if somebody's actually in, interested in me, even if, if they think it's a little too much that I'm telling them straight up, I think that they'll, they'll fuck with me just because, you know what I mean? I, I have the courage to do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stay being you. Like whoever out there that's, I ain't my man, so he ain't you, you're going to know real soon. You're going to know. You don't oh, know, no. but definitely I'm, stay being you. Everybody oh, stay no. being you. Stay true. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. No, that's the thing is once I'm you're like in the 90s with this outfit now. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, girl. You gotta get it. <laughs> Look, hey, hey, next time for sure, we're gonna have to do an um another um podcast or interview type where we're doing some TikToks. Oh hell yeah. Well, I'm gonna start doing all kinds of shit. I'm gonna start doing all kinds of shit. Look, my next big project, I definitely would want you to um, come back to me on another little interview so they can. And then we can do our TikToks, kind of add some little dancing. Oh, shit, I'm not scared, girl. Fucking, hey, what are you talking about? I straight get oh, up in the, you shit, know wait, wait, wait. 
Uh, yeah. You if I had more it. room right there, there's not that much room, but I'll get down. I'll do some windmills. I'll do some fast. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. <laughs> that was that shit, dude. You see, understand? See, that was my shit. That was yeah, my shit, though. Before, before gang. Shout out to T-Pain for that. No, 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 but look at I'm from, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm 38, so in the 90s, before it, people were, breakdancing came back to another time, so I was, everybody was breakdancing, and then from breakdancing, we started gangbanging, and so I was in a breakdancing group before I was in my hood, and I, I, I always think, like, man, why couldn't we kept dancing, you know what I mean? Because when we were dancing, we got out all that frustration on each other, you know what I mean? We got out all that masculinity, but then we had to go and just take it to another level, you know? Yeah, that's dancing definitely, definitely therapeutic as well. Very dancing. therapeutic. Um, West Side Story even showed that storyline of it being therapeutic. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, you know, fight and dance, death to it, whatever the case. Um, I was gonna get somewhere with that. Um, <laughs> nah, but I like, I like, I like, I don't know. I love dancing, and I, I like to like, I just love like also the flirtation of it. I think it's a very beautiful thing. You know, on a on a home level or just on a, you know, a lover level. Like, I just think it's a fucking dope way of interacting with another human being, kind of. You know what I mean? If you think about it, just like, it I kind of take yourself take out of it. I want to take some class. Now you got to do some cumbia, too. Yeah. Like That's what I want to do. Because I know ah, a little something. Ah, you guys, just look. Oh, hell yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. so I oh, what? <laughs> She's doing it. Oh. And then you gotta do your mom. So, you know, you guys, like, it's a little something, but I definitely want to take it. <laughs> Hell yeah. I definitely no, want to take dancing. classes. Okay, so let's, um, I, um, are you gonna, um, I want, I, I don't know if you're gonna ask, but I want to let it be known that I got a project and projects coming out, singles on it. Let's that. talk about it. Okay, okay, okay. So, you guys, I got my first EP, my first love, my baby that dropped. Um, I want to say it dropped a year ago, whatever. I want you guys to go check that out. New people that's in, tune in. Um, it's called Double Cup, my EP. After that, I've been dropping singles. So I haven't um, dropped a new project. So I'm working on a big one, you guys. I want to, I really want to say that. It's my next EP, my second EP. Okay. So, yeah, because a lot of people are doing that now. They're kind of just dropping singles, you know, and then doing a visual to a single, visual to single. And then, but I was wondering, like, you know, it's, I think it's also cool to drop like a, a project because it's like a statement you know what i mean in and time you know what i mean yeah exactly exactly so my big statement was my ep double cup is on my pl platforms you guys and i got videos on youtube my instagram link in my bio has it all so check it out other than that um projects definitely give a big play that's why i needed to take some time i've been doing some features and singles i have my promo videos to my singles on my page out right now so you guys check that out too but my next big project, I kind of wanted to take some time on it. You know, I want to get a little bit more feel of me because I'm not going to lie. Going back to the whole depression you said, not using the word, but life, it, it did take a toll on me. I kind of lost a family member and I had to take time from social media. And and believe it or not, I kind of took the time stopped and stopped writing for a cool minute. So I'm getting back into writing and really expressing my feelings and everything like you know, going hard, and I really thank everybody that's been around me for my journey, but other than that, I really wanted to take time on my next project. That's why I'm excited for this to come out, and I want to let it be known. I'm not yeah, sure what man. it's called yet, but y'all stay tuned and definitely follow your girl journey. It's going to be dope. Yeah, yeah. No, and that's the thing is that, like, sometimes we have to take a little time to, you know, get our shit, you know, get our, even me, like, I'm actually taking... Even right now, like I'm doing things, but I'm not going as hard because I'm taking a little time to get my shit right for the, for this next year coming up and and what I plan to do in that time, you know. And so I just feel like it's not a rat race, you know what I mean? And when it comes to the art, you know what I mean? Uh, our it's art, it's marathon. on our time. Yes, you know your own I mean? marathon. Just know, just know, uh, run your tracks and do your um, do your um, your practice and everything right and consistent. You know, play it smart, but it's your own marathon. You don't got to think about the next person next to you, in front of you, and back of you. Just think about your own lane and your own race. Yeah, like, that's the thing with social media. That shit will have you thinking a whole nother thing. And I remember even Dave Chappelle, he's like, 
Yeah, yeah. Dave Ch- and Dave Chappelle on his special, he was saying like, I don't give a fuck what Twitter uh, Twitter says. I don't live there and it's not real. You know what I mean? If you think about it, it's not like a place. Twitter don't just come and hit you on your face. You go to Twitter. I, I'm not, I don't even fuck with Twitter really, but you know what I mean? We go to these apps. They don't they don't yeah, come and slap yeah. us in our face, you know, and walk up on us like we, it was back in the day or something. Yeah, and believe it or not, like I you know already said my age. But I wasn't into social media, so I, my manager had to push me into it when I first got into my music. Because it took me a minute to post and promote. I'm like, I'll be out, I'll be networking. I don't need that. But it's crazy because that's the main platform. And it's, yeah. it's, it's something I still kind of hate because it's full of stupidness. But it's it's the main platform. It's something very useful too. Yeah, and how do you how do you balance that? Slowly, you know, con- concluding a little, like, but how how do you balance, you know, being a female in the industry, where in a in a in a time of Instagram, you know, BBLs and and Instagram, and not, I'm not even hating on them, but you know what I mean, like, just a whole new, like, you know, w- women being all kinds of different ways, you know what I mean? I don't know, it's just a different vibe. So how how do, when you see all that, how does it? How do you how do you take it in, and how do you process? all that vibe you know just because i just feel like there's some crazy stand you know expectations for women it's just nuts yes it is and it comes a lot sadly from you know men and us yeah. and, and us we, uh, women and us women we do criticize each other which is very wrong i don't play any parts of it when i see or even come across it i don't i'm, not, I'm a drama free person so anybody that know your girl I don't condone it. Any drama, I don't even pay attention to people in conversation. I'm not a nosy person. I just don't give the energy for that type of stuff. So when I see it, I I, I don't even care. <laughs> I, I yeah. don't care. I really can't. I don't care. And then it, it, other than that, it can't even make me mad. Or when it makes other people mad next to me, I'm like, you know, sometimes I got to explain, especially some, you know, to my family. That's what I explain to. Not people, because that's on them. But I can't pay no attention. It's stupid. I just kind of push it aside, sadly. And then I kind of want to encourage, you know, the women out there that has got, you know, criticized because I have, you know, your girl got a little, I'm picking up my weight and everything. But other than that, um, it doesn't matter. Be you, love yourself. That's all that matters. So at the end of the day, it's just stupid. So just be yourself. You're beautiful the way you are. And if you want to change you, just know it needs to come from you. Yeah, that's why I say, like, I, I was saying, like, I look, at, I, I, I seen a mother, a woman become a mother, like, and um, in my situation, she, she looks, still looks real, you know, still looks real cool. But, like, I understand when women have had a couple kids and, hey, they want to, you know, the mommy makeover, if that's what you want to do for you. Yeah, that's okay. Right on, you know what I mean? I just feel like the extremes where they're kind of making women's bodies look like totally different now, you know, and that leg to ass ratio is not sexy, man. That shit don't look right. <laughs> and it's like, I'm not, I don't like, I'm not tripping, but, but it's like, I don't want my daughter thinking that that's regular. You know what I mean? I, it, it's, it's okay if you want to do that, but just like, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I hope that, that the idea of women and their beauty it doesn't change though, because those stand, those ways, those shapes, no disrespect to me. They don't, look natural as a to a woman like that fool said like let me get some, let me see, let me get some stretch marks or whatever and you know um the realness the natural yeah let me get that real shit you know because i'm not perfect yeah. and i just want to you know work with, i feel like you should work with whatever god gave you and work your ass off to get the best you can and then i guess after you can say you're really at premium shape if you want to make some i guess that's cool i would never put my body under a knife you know, for some. Oh, yeah. Well, that's I guess that's up to the person, but yeah, no, I feel totally. like working t- hard towards your body and keeping it healthy and whatever progress you want to change, that's that's in it for the hard work too. That's gonna be the best results too at the end of the um, you know. But I agree with you with having females be themselves, natural. You know, you don't I have don't to treat yourself, Mama Citas, no at all. Now that's up to you, like we said, if you want to, but. All that naturalness, it's it, it defines you. It's it's who you are. Yeah, that's exactly how I was saying that shit. Battle wounds, man. Survival survival scars. You, you feel me? Like you straight did that shit. But hey, at the same Sexy. time, you want I forgot what he said. <laughs> that fool said if you want to do it, you know, if you want to better yourself and that you feel like that's 
but do that shit for you. Like, you know what I mean? Don't do that for because well, you're you know, yeah. Happy. Just, hell yeah, man. For sure, man. I don't know. But how are you feeling moving forward? You feeling okay about everything? How's your mind state? My mind state, my mind state is awesome. I've been working on new projects. I just got done doing a, a first time issue with a, a magazine called Broad um Broad Daylight. So I'm excited. Oh, I saw that on YouTube. Uh, yes, yes, yes. It is on YouTube. On YouTube. The, full, the full interview with me is on YouTube, you guys. So link my bio again. Other than that, um, it's so many things. I'm like, ah, but I've been doing shows. I've been, um, um, I'm getting a tour together, you guys. I'm about to do a three-city tour in Miami, Atlanta, and New York. So oh, look out for you guys, Atlanta, Miami, and New York. I'm gonna be coming out to the bay. Yeah. So I'm gonna be coming out there, so don't worry. Other yeah, than we'll, that, fucking, we'll shoot. We'll shoot it up. We'll take some shots. You know what I mean? Some shots. These kind of shots. You know what I mean? <laughs> I that from you, the magic eye. But you guys I know. I felt bad. I'm just excited. I felt bad we didn't get to shoot it, but I took one picture. I'm gonna look for it and post it because I'm gonna oh, see that one. Because remember, I don't know if you remember, right when we left, I was like, hold on, let me take one quick picture of you. And then I, we took one and then we bounced. Oh, yeah, you, you, you should have been sent that to me. Please let me I see know, that. My bad, my bad, my oh, bad. Good. I'm glad you told me. I'm <laughs> for sure, for sure. But, well, any, you got any last thoughts before we jump up out of here? Oh, shoot. I'm sad I'm leaving. Oh, no. But you know I appreciate I mean? all that's been staying, all these 12 viewers. Look, y'all some real ones. I've, th I've been seeing that 12 there for a minute, and I love it. Other than that, I want to let people know, um... Stay tuned. Keep checking out my um link in my bio. I'm always dropping on my Instagram. Um, I got a show tomorrow and Saturday. So whoever's in LA, the Valley area, definitely pop out on your girl. I'm good vibes. I'm good vibes. Um, other than that, I got a big project coming. I just dropped a single, three singles, Down West yeah. Side, Black Roses, and I got another one dropping this week called New World. So... Look out for the third one dropping this week. Other than that, the two promo videos to those ones is on my page right now. So check that out. It's real dope. Other than okay. that, um, I know, look, my EP, I dropped um, a lot of visuals off of it. So just check out my page. It's, everything's in my link in my bio. So pretty much, yeah. that's what I'm going to say real quick. Hold on. Don't try to rush me. Don't try to rush me. Look, no, 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 Russian. We ain't rushing that. Like, no. I know. Like, I'm messing. Um, nah, never that. What else, you guys? Shoot, I'm no, I was just saying, I was just saying that I, I feel like this will kick kick off, and you know what I mean, like this little, you know, from here on. Now you're just gonna keep pushing, you know, no oh, more breaks. Yes. It's time to go. I'm definitely gonna keep pushing, you guys. I'm definitely gonna keep pushing. Oh, oh, I got, yeah. um, I got a big music video that I'm holding on to after I drop these two singles. That's coming out. No, after I drop this one single, I was gonna drop another one, but no. And I got a big music video coming out, you guys. So that's before. All this is coming out before my second EP. So y'all gonna see me in the studio working on that. So I'm real excited. Yeah, shout out to Styx for, for uh, introducing us, you know what I mean? And, and bridging a bunch of artists together. He's doing that for a lot of people. Real. Styx is one of a kind too. He's cool, I, I, right? Too. I told him I'm very proud of him from the time I met him and all the things he talked about is actually coming into action. So that's the that's the, that's the dopeness about it. Styx, yeah. I salute you, bro, for real. And that's the funny part, though, is that, you know what I mean? I, I love it when you people follow through on what they say they're going to do. You know what I mean? Exactly. I what, a con what a concept. <laughs> Look, I like that shit, too. So just know your girls so, that so. tight. And I appreciate you for um thinking about me and, you know, wanting to Of course. Me. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, you know what I mean? This is the first one. We're going to do more. You know, it's just the first. I look at it all as networking. We just networking and we just, there's no set time we can do other interviews in the future you build relationships and you just keep going you know what I mean? all right i'm glad because look i'm gonna have another hairstyle y'all gonna be yeah look, and that's the beauty of it we we be seeing the steps so y'all gonna you know continue to follow the journey that's what's up we gonna we gonna see we gonna see but yeah, um no, no. i want to say too um oh let me know when you in la so i can catch you yeah you already anytime. know what you said mm -hmm. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. No, I really will. I will shoot for sure. Okay. You know what I mean? I'll show you my skills. <laughs> yeah, okay, see, look at that. You I might gotta mean? show you my skills with the in the Oh app. shit. I got a spot. Well, that's what, when, I, when I start talking shit, you'll I got some spots where we can throw it at the trees. Like some open oh, spots. 
Uh, we get to take pictures of that too. Let me stop if I, if I get in trouble. I don't know if it's you know if I'm able to go over there. But <laughs> no, no, that's good. But no, you, yeah, you got but... you got a place out here in the Bay anytime. You know what I mean? On some real, on some real homie shit too. So yes. on trip. You know what I mean? It's right. love. It's just I feel like we need to build more bridges than barriers. And one way we can do that is through you know technology, music, entertainment. Like but like on, on a positive vibe, I would rather get slowly get bigger than get blown up on some bullshit clout shit that don't mean nothing you know i agree i agree i like that support is the main thing that i i, I don't seek for but i love hell definitely, yeah for sure I definitely love so i agree so just know that you got my full support and you got mine so let me know anytime and if you come up here let me know and we'll shoot and if i'm down there we'll shoot so we're gonna shoot hey, sometime all right, girl. Well, you have a beautiful, blessed night. You I appreciate too. You again. All right, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Check out your girl. All right. All right, girl. Catch Please. up with you. All right. Hey, what do you do with it?